Um, I've just got two, two brief uh, points to make. Uh, the first results from um, a couple of members who looked slightly frightened as I came down the nose lobby uh, on my way in. Um, I just want to make it clear that I'm not asking for either the lobbies or the entrance to Parliament to be blocked off from members of Parliament at the time that I'm using it. People are most welcome to use it at the same time as me, and if they see me coming, they don't need to turn around and go the other way. <laughs> Order, order. Um, another, another slightly more serious matter. Uh, members may have noticed presiding officers using computers in the chamber. Uh, they only use uh, them to message the clerk at the table as an alternative to passing notes. Uh, this is a trial that has been uh, that has run from the beginning of the parliament, following the use of similar systems in some overseas parliaments. Mr. Speaker. Point of, right order. Rule, just Point of order, Mr Speaker, I wish to make a ministerial statement. Mr Speaker, in the early hours of Tuesday morning, tropical cyclone Gita made landfall in Tonga, causing significant damage to homes, livelihoods and infrastructure. It also impacted in the islands of the southern group of Fiji uh, on Tuesday, with reporting from damage assessments expected over the course of the day. Prior to this, Gita caused widespread flooding in Samoa. Sadly, there has now been one confirmed fatality, and some people have been injured. Whenever disaster strikes in the Pacific, New Zealand is on hand to help. Our Pacific neighbours know they can turn to us in times of need, and New Zealanders can feel that we have done all we can in our response to date. We remain in close contact with the Samoan authorities and have made initial funding of $50,000 available, which has been used to support damage assessments as well as relief for flood-affected families, including those that remain in evacuation centres. A High Commission in Apia is working with local authorities and NGO partners to distribute New Zealand's pre-positioned relief supplies. In Tonga, where the destruction is more severe and widespread, I want to thank the Minister of Foreign Affairs for making initial funding of $750,000 available before the cyclone even reached landfall, and has delivered over 10 tonnes of aid, including 1,000 tarpaulins, 200 shelter toolkits, 500 family hygiene kits and 2,300 water containers to meet immediate needs. We've also deployed a 10-person team of experts from the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, New Zealand Defence Force, Ministry of Health, Fire and Emergency New Zealand to assist with the coordination of New Zealand support and to continue needs assessments. The New Zealand Defence Force carried out aerial surveillance yesterday and collected imagery to assist the Tongan government with damage assessments. I want to acknowledge the leadership of the governments of Samoa, Tonga and Fiji in responding to this natural disaster. We remain in close contact with Tonga, Samoa and Fiji authorities to determine how we can provide further support and work collaboratively into the future. In the meantime, our thoughts are with all of those who have been affected. Okay. The right on Jerry Brown. Uh, thank you. Um, on behalf of the National